pigeons. That's not pigeons. <laughs> it sure is peaceful with no one around. I can hardly hear a thing. How are you sure? Still, I'm sure that things in AD haven't settled down yet. I guess I'll take a peek, see what's going on. I should be able to access AD with the visor I was issued. Oh yeah, because this is the real world per se. Where to next? Okay. It seems like Kairos is something similar to what we had in Aldeus, this connection that everyone has. What do you think? Oh. That's a good info. Wait, what? Everyone tethered right now. It's like their shadows are on edge somehow. No one thought murder was even possible in the city. I mean, I was the same. The thought never crossed my mind. Dreams protect us here in Astrum Close. Bionic nanomachines called Kairos were introduced 30 years ago to protect the fragile. Mental health of ordinary humans, for whom the world is no longer even safe. Kairos supports a system of collective mental tethering, augmented dreaming, that has erased crime from the city. After the nightfall catastrophe 12 years ago, Particle contamination spread from the east, even when the world outside was rocked by rebellion and slaughter. I heard the city was a crime-free oasis of calm. The city hasn't been this worked up since the experiment that took place three years ago. Professor Rumford? It seems I have surprised you with my appearance. I have taken the form of the Professor when he first built this city. We forged and nurtured this place together. That's not necessarily a good time to be an imposter. So, you're Eustace, the city's integrated AI? How? You are already aware of the task assigned to you. Correct? We accept that this is a grave burden for a newly appointed supervisor. But with your abilities that let you read memories, you should have no trouble recovering the professor's body and identifying the culprit. I literally just became a supervisor. Why would you pick me? Does the Director General know about this? Hmm. Director General Elaine Cordia is currently under close surveillance. As such, she is unable to operate freely. What? Why? You'll find out soon enough when you start investigating the crime scene. No Kairos-compatible resident could possibly be implicated, thanks to collective AD counseling. The number of potential culprits is limited. Even so, everyone awake right now is a suspect. Uh. 
The trial starts in three days. How? It's up to you to solve this case. Find Albert's body. Find the perpetrator. There isn't a moment to lose. Before the city is engulfed in the impending nightmare. Could she really be responsible? It seems so hard to believe. Hmm. Let's go. I'm still interested what this exactly does. It's not clear yet to me. <laughs> Where is it going? Okay. <laughs> this it's not a safe station <laughs> all clear <laughs> okay well I think I'll switch to the manual scrolling because it's definitely too slow for the automatic I want to see what's there though <laughs> Can I cross? No. Maybe later. I can hardly remember anything from before that trial. Three years ago. They found me outside the city. After that, I was brought up in the institute shelter. I grew up without a family. When I got caught up in the nightfall catastrophe 12 years ago, I lost everyone, apparently. But since moving here, everyone at the shelter became just like family. We saw her. At least, I heard that's how things were before that experiment. Okay. Hearing about the professor's death this morning. It was a real shock, but it wasn't his death itself that shocked me. It was the fact that the crime even happened here in the city. I mean, this place is supposed to be peaceful. Professor Albert Rumford, the founder of this so-called paradise. People are wondering who killed him. Whoever did it, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Oh, wow. <laughs> That experiment three years ago left a stain on the city, but nobody even remembers. Some people still respect the professor. They think he actually cares about variants. But the Rumford I know is heartless. He treats us variants like cattle, all for the sake of his research. He's just a cold person. Maybe it's like a memory link or something. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, what about the transition? There's nothing here. I hope it's gonna be explained. Supervisor Sion, thank you for your diligence. The scan of the crime scene will be completed shortly. Where are Ash and Lily? 
Supervisor Shepard isn't here. It seems he was here earlier. He dropped something. I don't know why, but Ash seems more distracted than usual today. Gloves? Looks like I can access the past with this, too. doing in there huh? what <laughs> excuse me wait that person that went from zero to a hundred real fast Okay. That was Ash. But who is that girl with him? Your keeper Zeta is right here. Her name is called Lily. She is your bureau approved investigation assistant and personal care robot. Oh, she's still in her pod. I should wake her up. Who said I need assistance? I guess we're stuck together. I'm not in the mood right now. I think you're getting things confused. She asked you to support me. Those two things are one and the same. They really aren't. Oh my god. Enough. <laughs> See, that wasn't so hard, was it? I hate it when you act like a meanie. Lily, where'd Ash go? I thought you came here together. Investigation report for you. Good job, Betas. Let me take a look. I see. I see. This report covers the incident, Hal. I'll explain everything before we get started at the crime scene. The victim was the occupant of this house. 
Martha Simmons, an old friend of Rumford's. She was the one who discovered him. Mm hmm. You know about Martha, don't you? She always used to look after you when you were little. I don't remember. You never know. You might remember something while you're taking a look around the place. Yeah. I need to listen to all the stuff, right? <laughs> because it's gonna be important for the case and then... Everything. It looks like he died from external injuries between 5 and 8. But we can't pinpoint the exact time of death. Why is everything so unclear? So his body went missing, and his vitals are showing as all normal. This is weird. They need you to find the Kairos transmission in the lab. I see. We have no evidence to prove if the professor is alive or dead. The body disappeared after it was found. And then there's his Kairos. Are the readings saying he's still alive in the lab? Exactly! The Bureau wants to find out if he's alive or not! As soon as we find the body, or the Kairos transmission, I'll send a report! Interesting. <laughs> 